Hi friends, Eric here from Around To It RC and I've got another plane here on my workbench that I want to show you. Now this is the Skyfly Max and it comes from flyzoneplanes.com. You can also purchase this plane online through towerhobbies.com. Now before we get into the unboxing and everything, I'd like to talk about this plane and its history with me. Well, not this plane uh, exactly, but several years ago when I decided to get into RC flying again, guess what I bought? The Skyfly. Now this is the grandfather plane to this one right here. And this one still flies today, uh, even though it's uh, several years old. And uh, this was my first plane when I got back into flying. I grabbed a hold of it and just ran. It was an easy plane to, to start learning how to fly with. And I'm sure this one right here will be too. But seeing that this is the newer one, the newer model, you get a 2.4 gigahertz radio, a LiPo battery, and a couple of other neat little features that you didn't have back then when I bought that one. So, that's the history with the Skyfly and me. Now let's go over to the work table and unbox the bad boy. All right, everything you see on the table is what was in the box for the Skyfly Max. And this is a ready to fly plane. Everything that was in the box that you're gonna to need to get this bad boy up and running, it's right here. So let's talk about it real quick before I put it together and go fly it. Let's see. You've got a small parts bag here with the rubber bands to attach the wing to the body. Uh, a couple of other miscellaneous parts there, some Velcro. The four AA batteries for your 2.4 gigahertz tactic controller, which is pretty awesome by the way. All right, let's see. Got the landing gear. You've got your pusher prop here. This is the tape for the wing section, the main wing. It comes, up, it comes unassembled and you put it together and put the tape on it right there. The aileron servos are already pre-installed, which makes the building process that much quicker. All right, let's take a look at the main body here. This is looking pretty cool right now. Let's take the top off. That's where the battery goes. And there's your lead for the battery right there. And you can see your receiver here, your ESC, and your brushless motor right here. This didn't come on the original Skyfly. See, everything that I've got on that original Skyfly was a brushed motor, nickel metal hydride battery. So this is the new and improved version right here, the Max. Remember that, okay? And here's your tail wing assembly with the push rods pre-installed for your uh, elevator and rudder control. And here's part of your tail wing assembly right here. Now here's your battery. It's a three cell lithium polymer battery, 1800 milliamp hour with a 20 C discharge rate. Now that's a pretty awesome battery right there, but this is the most awesome part of the whole kit. I wish the other hobby companies would take note of this and follow FlyZone's lead with this. Okay. Here's your balancing charger right here for your battery. And they supply the AC adapter to charge this in home. And they, char and they also supply the field charger adapter for, the, uh, for your accessory port in your vehicle. So you can charge this at the field or at home. You've got your choice. And they added that in from the get-go. And I really do appreciate that. Kudos to flyzoneplanes.com on doing that. All right, that's about it, except for the manual, which you know we all love reading manuals. So I've got to read the manual to put this thing together real quick. So in just a few minutes, you'll see me and this plane at the flying field. All right, I've got it dialed in, so let's try a loop. Nice loop. All right, let's go for another loop and hit the top, roll it out. Very cool. The ailerons were a great addition to this plane. All right, let's try a roll. Pretty good on the roll there. Okay, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with the plane now, so let's try for another loop. Looking really good. Alright, let's go for another roll. Alright.
And of course you know I've got to try it inverted. Looking pretty good here. Nice inverted. Alright, well I'm having a good time with the Skyfly Max plane and you can see the aileron controls make it zip around the field really well. Let's go ahead and do another loop. Nice loop. And let's go for one more roll. Alright, okay let's go ahead and bring the plane on in. The plane does have wheels for a ground landing, but you know me, I gotta push the limits with all my planes. Now I wouldn't recommend this next maneuver for a beginner pilot, but I'm very experienced in doing this, so sit back and enjoy this landing. Well there you have it, that was the main flight of the Skyfly Max and I hope you enjoyed the review. Now let me give you my final thoughts on the plane before we go today, okay? Now, I'm really enjoying the plane myself. The build time was about 30 minutes. It was a very easy build to do, the instructions were straightforward. And I like the LiPo battery in it and the brushless motor for the pusher prop system. That's really good for beginners so if you accidentally nose dive into the ground, you're not tearing up the, the motor or the prop accidentally. That's, that's another good reason this is beginner plane. Now the ailerons were a very nice addition to the plane over the original Skyfly. I enjoyed that where I could actually do rolls with the plane and uh, a few more cutting turns than I could with the original Skyfly. So that was pretty awesome too. But uh, overall it's a great plane. The 2.4 gigahertz transmitter that came with it is a ready to fly package. It was great so I don't have any interference from other people at the field. And I give it a thumbs up. So. That's it for the review. I'm glad you got to see me again, and I'll see you later on the tube, okay?